Hey, what's up? I'm Anoush from AndroidRoots.com. Today we're taking a look at Android L 5.0 Developer Preview ROM for the Nexus 5. So this is a custom ROM and is exact same steps as any other custom ROM. All you have to do is download a zip file, download the Super SU zip file as well. It's a special one for Android L. Enter into clock or recovery mode or twerp recovery and install it after you wipe it. So it's really, really simple, very straightforward, same exact steps as any other custom ROM. And if you're still confused on how to do this on your rooted Nexus 5, I'll have a link down below for the files and also directions on how to properly install this specific ROM on your Nexus 5. So here it is, as you can see, there is SuperSU, and also we can go ahead and do root checker. I, just did, I did it a few minutes ago, um, so you can see current device, Nexus 5, and congratulations, uh, this device has root access. So you can already see that we have that new Android L wallpaper right here. That's the only one I can see that is different from the rest, at least from KitKat, so that's it. Um, new navigation keys, so it's a triangle, circle, and square right there. Notifications, which I'm a big fan of. I actually prefer this over the other one. It's much more convenient. So right now, if I had any notifications, it would show it right here. And if I kept pulling down, it would go ahead and show me the toggles. So it's a more of a layered concept throughout all the new updated apps. So you can just go and swipe in and out. There's not a lot of tapping anymore, which I'm a fan of. It's much more easier just to slide in and out. It's more of card based, just uh, new layers on layers. Um, so I like that. So you have all your toggles, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data, if I did have a SIM card there, notifications, all that good stuff. Um, they also did add auto-rotate, which is nice. Here's your lock screen. So it would show notifications right here if I did have any. Here's your dialer and here's your camera. So you can go and swipe left to right for your dialer and right to left for your camera. Also, you have a new calculator, which has been updated. So here's your basic calculator. As you can see, it's a new gray teal look. Also, there's no lines separating each number. Also, if you can swipe across, you can see you have that extra advanced feature. Really nice as it shows it, there's just a little hint of what's included. So there's no real option key or anything that you have to go and find to see if there's more advanced options. It's just hiding on the side. You swipe it over when once you're done using it, go and swipe it back, and then you're done. Much, much more convenient. I really do like this new features. Um, I'm really gonna love Android L. From what I see, it's gonna be great. Also, if you move into settings, as you can see, settings has definitely changed up. It's a new teal look. Uh, for the icons, black and white. I'm not a big fan of the white as it's probably going to strain my eyes at night, but it is what it is. Um, so everything's pretty much the same for the most part. There are some new sound settings and all that, but I'll let you explore that on your own once you do install this new custom ROM. We can go into About Phone, and as you can see, we have Nexus 5, Android version L, of course, baseband, kernel version, build number, and I went ahead and enable developer options. So yes, developer options, of course, is included within this ROM and really any other ROM, it's gonna be included. But if we go ahead and go back into About Phone, we can go ahead and tap on, I believe it was Android version to get our little Easter egg right here. So this is just a testing thing. Um, I'm positive, I'm almost guaranteeing you that this is not gonna be the final product. It's not gonna be even close to the final product. I think this is a testing thing. Um, you can even see that it's this .flv, it's this Android L. It's just something that I had to place in there to make sure everything was working just fine. Um, and if you go ahead and hold it down, I think if you hold it down, it should work. I know I got this before, let's see. There we go. Um, now it'll go ahead and show you all the rest of the KitKat features. So this is the exact same thing as what it had on KitKat. You have, I believe, Cupcake, Gingerbread, Android Guy, Donuts, so and Jelly Bean right there, KitKat's right there. So you guys get the idea of what's up on here. Um, that's really pretty much it for what I found new. And also the new keyboard, so I'll show you that. So here's the new keyboard. It's very similar to the calculator app as there's no lines in between. The color scheme is gray with a blue teal right there. So I'm actually digging the new keyboard too. It looks much more cleaner since there's no lines in between. It just shows the letters and that's all it does show. So I really like that too. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, and I'll just show you the sounds. So if we go ahead, and as you can see, there's a don't disturb feature right here. So don't disturb for one hour. You can add more hours or until you turn, off, turn this off and you have more settings right here. 
and there's some other new battery enhancement features, uh, performance features, all that good stuff too. So you can go ahead and play around with this custom ROM, this Android L developer preview, Android 5.0 for the Nexus 5. Just go ahead and easily flash it via clock mod recovery or twerp recovery. I'll leave a link down below where you can go ahead and download the zip file for the actual ROM and the zip file for the Super SU specifically made for Android L. So just go ahead and flash Super SU after uh, installing the custom ROM within whichever recovery you're using and you'll be good to go with both the Android L and also being rooted. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, be sure to like and if you want to see more of this content, be sure to subscribe in the bottom right corner as well. And if you want to go ahead and stay in touch with me, go ahead and ask a few questions, all that good stuff, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+, which I'll, which I'll also go ahead and link down below. Until next time, peace.